So this is the new Hard City Studio, first video ever being done in here. And um, you know, not much yet, it's a mess, but this is the second bedroom in the house. And um, well, I was just kind of going through some things and I thought it would be fun to kind of go over some survival backpack stuff since it's been about forever since we did that. Uh, so, I just realized that a lot of my stuff is still in storage. I got the garage unit outside now and some of that stuff I need to start bringing here so I can stop paying for a garage unit and a storage unit. Plus it would be nice to have a bag prepped which I just realized I don't even have. Now, what's, sorry about the echoey and the shitty, shitty lighting guys. It's the first video in the new studio and I didn't feel like bringing the light in. Plus, you know, whatever. So. Uh, old school hard city. This goes back to like the beginning days of the channel, you know, back when we had literally 12 subscribers. So, Mama, can you, and Storm wasn't even born yet. Imagine that. And we lived in Philadelphia. Bird! Hi, baby. Hi, Bobo. Okay. Uh, so, apologize for that. What we got here is an absolute mess. I have a couple of different bags we can choose from. Um, and... Each one has their own unique purpose. So we have, this is the one I would probably, my go-to, uh, because it's the one that I like the least. So I don't really care that it lays around and it also already has some things in it. This is the 511 Rush. I believe this is the Rush, golly, I don't know. I don't know, the Rush something. But it's a 511 bag, it's got a ton of molly, looks all military and He's got guns and stuff, but uh, you know, nonetheless, it's a backpack with stuff in it, which is what anybody's gonna notice if you have a backpack. He's got something, he's got a backpack. Either way, you're probably a threat, and either way, you probably have more than someone who don't have a backpack, so you're probably gonna get jacked. So, don't worry about it, don't overthink it. Bag's a bag. Uh, so inside here, nothing really, uh, you know, we'll get into the inside of that. Now my VanQuest, this guy, this is the VanQuest Trident 32 Gen something or other. One of my favorite backpacks. I actually have a fishing, some, some of my fishing gear in here. There's a compass. So I do have a compass, which helps because, uh, you know, we can actually put that in one of these bags. This is just a, you know, a compass is a compass. It's not my Sunto which I may or may not have out here. We'll find out uh, what, what stuff we actually have here and what we don't. But this is what I use for fishing. It's my tool, my little pouch I use for fishing. So the VanQuest Trident 20, uh, this, this would be more or less like my bag that I'm gonna pack if I'm going on a trip for a few days and I need, uh, I wanna have something for like survival, you know, like a, some type of a bag that has emergency stuff in it this would be the bag I, I pack because it's really that good. Obviously you can't see it very well, but who, you know, whatever. It's got the bright orange, it's a really good backpack. And you know, it's one of my favorites. Like I got some Leatherman Raptors in here, uh, which Storm chewed up. These are like, what, $100 scissors or something? Freaking dog. So that's the VanQuest and this thing is really comfortable. It's got all kinds of bells and whistles. And uh, I've had this bag for a pretty long time. Now, I have its little brother. This one is gonna be a day pack type of deal. So this is the VanQuest Trident 21. I've had this bag for like five, six years. I still love it, still use it for different things. Uh, it's a really good bag. It's basically the smaller version of that one. And it, it works really well. Then I have my camouflage multicam recycled firefighter backpack here with uh, soft shell armor in it and this would be my assault pack so if there's like literally World War 3 going on outside and I want it to be light and fast I'm taking this stacking packing it light as to whatever the conditions are with my plate carrier that has a polyethylene plate on it which is really light this is a cry precision 2.0 pack I have some kit in here as well, which uh, I guess we can go over. We got hydration, you know, Sawyer water filtration, uh, and then probably, 
possibly an AR mag or something. Uh, there's a Suunto compass, so there we go, we're set there. And, you know, and we got some um, AR-15 mags, we got a 20 round AR mag, and then uh, two 20 rounders. So, 40 rounds AR-15, and then also we have some nuclear thyroid tablets in case, you know, nuclear attack. And then we got just a, a, a fire kit, and that is as basic as it gets on my back. This is an assault kit right here, pretty much, you know, if there's uh, some kind of, you know, nuclear stuff going on. Then we got our med kit on the side, and that's my Cry Precision 2.0. Running with that, obviously, we're going to go with in the big bag here, which is going to have my rifle, and that is my... Colt AR-15A3, and yeah, oh yeah, she's a beauty. She's a beaut. I love this. Uh, I love this rifle. It's got all the, you know. This is a uh, GI mag from BCI, uh, BCM. Got some uh, BCM um, foregrip. Uh, just a cheapy Surefire light. I'm actually a South Paul, so we go this way. Uh, and this, this, uh, you know, all mag pool furniture, and that's my rifle. So that's what we would run in case of something crazy like that. And then we have a bunch of ammo and all that stuff for, for shoes. You would need good pair of shoes for anything like that. And I'm going to run these. These are my Basque, Basquez, something like that. Basque shoes, obviously super muddy, taking these hiking a bunch of times. And so there's that, and then a well-rounded EDC, obviously, you know, Glock handgun, and then, you know, a nice uh, fixed blade knife, and that is a Bradford M390 steel. Super sick. And then so, you know, that would be, there's the different bags and different things for different situations. Then I have this here, this is the Pathfinder kit. I really love this, this would be, something you would take on a recon mission like if you're going out maybe you know i don't know let's just get creative here like you know there's something like mass rioting going outside you know people are you know cities are burning and you got to go leave your place wherever you're at and just go scouting for a few hours and go see what's going on i would just take this and this just has the absolute necessities in it water uh, a cook kit look at a big giant spoon um you know Ferrocium rod stuff's just going all over the place. That is the MSR pocket rocket, so that's for a little pocket rocket tank. Then we're gonna have uh, some fire tinder and some other stuff for the pocket rocket. And this is just basically uh, a cook set, but it's really all you need to survive. You got another lighter in here inside these little black mylar bags that are inside here there's fire tinder and medication different medications stuff like that that you might need advil tylenol um antibiotics all kinds of different stuff like that the Suunto compass you know this is going to be super important especially in an area where you have no idea where i'm at like you know iowa in philly i know pretty much where i'm going but out here you know out here you don't really need to go far because when you're in a, in a city, this is where most of the people are gonna come. So out here, you're, you're basically bugging in. And a lot of this stuff is like recon stuff, like you're going out to get supplies, supply stuff, whatever, you know, things like that. Maybe going to uh, somebody's ranch out here. One of my buddies got, you know, a lot of my friends out here have big farms and ranches and lots of land. And, you know, this is not a place where you're gonna wanna come if you're not welcome, because you will not be treated you know, lightly, unless you have some kind of skill and something you can contribute to the community, you know, probably you're going to be running out of town. All right. So another little kit that I found here is just, this is just probably some stupid. Yeah. There's, so there's nothing crazy in here. Some water purification tablets, notepad, handkerchief, a uh, knife sharpener. I see here's another lighter. So they're good, good to go there. And uh, so now we have duct tape, um, match striker to strike some matches on, and a pack of AAA batteries, AA batteries, I'm sorry. So pretty good little piece of kit there we can use to work out of. And that's a 
This looks like the Maxpedition ERZ. So that's what that is. I got all kinds of these little like kits and stuff like that. Uh, I have this. This is my med kit. Um, this is usually in the truck, so I got to put that back in there. That and the tourniquet needs to be replaced on this. So I'll probably swap that out for a new one now because it's been sitting around for a while. It's probably uh, expired and they do expire. So make sure you're rotating your tourniquets and, uh, you know, cut it up and throw it out. Don't, I wouldn't keep it around. Um, because you can probably do more damage. We're not going to open this thing up, but that's a really good trauma pack. That is not for like a boo-boo, I banged my knee. This is gunshot, stab wounds, trauma, you know, so that's a van quest. That's a really nice kit. So I'm glad I still have that. A uh, cheapy flashlight. You know, this is just a real cheap flashlight, guys. I mean, this is a mini Magnite light. And the reason why I got something like this, other than like your expensive O lights and all that, is because it's simple. It keeps simple triple a batteries uh you know and it's just gonna probably work i don't really care if i lose it it's gonna sit around in the backpack not a big deal the batteries die in it switch them whatever triple a's are everywhere and so not a big deal do i have expensive flashlights sure am i gonna have them sit around in a backpack no so that's a little mag light so we can use that for something good to have those a cheapy multi-tool again am i gonna keep a you know $120 Leatherman free in a backpack to sit around or am I going to use that for my main tool or am I going to use this really cheap like $20 pair Gerber you know multi-tool that just you know works it works it's pliers it does what it needs to do you know it's it's just you know whatever it is it's not a big deal comes a little sheath boom has an extra knife screwdriver a couple tools on it now obviously a good knife is important so I, I'm going to have a good fixed blade. Now my bigger survival knife, I don't have here. That's in storage. We'll get it here. But this is what I have for now. So build upon what you have. You know, don't overthink it. Don't go out and buy a bunch of stuff unless you have to. This Now think all this stuff, guys, if you've been following my channel for years, this stuff I accumulated over years and years of prepping, not just didn't happen overnight. You know what I mean? So uh, lots of good knives. Uh, this and, and knives are something you would probably want to invest in and a good firearm, good ammunition. Uh, I have some gloves, so these are nice Kevlar gloves. You know, keep a pair of good gloves in your kit. Why the heck not? And let's see what else we got. Pretty sure this is a, a fire kit, so that's a little Maxpedition, whoa. Fire kit, so we do have that. Awesome, that's a full-blown fire kit, and this is a good one. It's really important, water, fire, uh, and you know, obviously air, you know, you got to be able to breathe, but beyond, you know, fire and water without those two things, you're basically dead water, more important, you know, you can only go 72 hours before you dehydrate and die. Most people may be a little bit longer, but that's the general overall thing of it. So we got a nice, another, another lighter in there with some rubber band around it. So it doesn't release the gas, a uh, really nice whistle, uh, in case, you know, you know, you're getting raped or something. Uh, some tape. Uh, what else we got? We got a, here's a really nice ferrocium rod. And this is a good one. All right, so, you know, you can use that. I wouldn't use this thing. I would probably just use the edge of my knife. Yeah, some sparks. So I would do that. Banged up my knife a little bit, but I don't care. Gives it character. Hey, remember that one time I made that video? That's what that mark is on that knife. Really nice sheath on this too. I love this knife. So a cool little fair seam rod. And then we got the storm matches and tons of cotton balls and mixed in Vaseline. Because cotton balls burn in like less than a couple of seconds. Mix it with a little bit of Vaseline. They'll burn for about a minute. So there you go. It's a good way to start fire. Have a redundancy of ways to start fire. Warm yourself up. And also cook food. Uh, so yeah, little Maxpedition fire kit. And, you know, awesome. Here's another. This is actually a good Ferris CM rod too. So here's a little backup. And this one's actually pretty good too. So multiple ways to light fires, guys. And uh, there you go. Hi, Mama. Yeah, Daddy's making a video. Go lay down. <laughs> Storm also has her kit too. Uh, hers is over here. And this is Storm's 
backpack for when a uh, bad scenario happens or when we're going hiking or camping or something like that. This is the easy dog and this thing is super, super sick. She can carry her own weight. I don't have to carry her food or water. She carries her own deal. So rain jacket in case you, you know, it rains and that would suck. Uh, and it gets freezing cold in Iowa. So I got a pair of nice, really nice 3M snow gloves in here. Uh, thermal gloves, these are really good actually. They have a zipper so you can keep whatever in there if you want. And then I have some cook stuff. This is, uh, we've seen this is, this is the bear bowl. This thing just unfolds basically into a square bowl. And then this is my stove. And this is a really nice camp stove that folds up. You put fire tinder in there, put a stove, put this on top and you cook food, boil water, all the above. Speaking of water, we have some water filtration as you've seen in this kit. We have the, the Sawyer, and then we also have the Grail. Um, this thing is really awesome. Wow, it has water in there forever. Probably should leave that out and sit. I think that's probably from when me and Lee went to uh, freaking Wissahickon Park like, year, like a year ago almost, and oh my God, that's when that water's from. So that's been a while. We gotta let that dry out. Uh, what else do we got in here? Man, that was a good time. <clears throat> Probably got some stuff in the back. Maybe not. Probably safety glasses up here. Here's a bunch of fire tenders. So always good to have fire tender. Uh, I think that's pretty much it as far as what we got going on. But this is probably 100% better than people who aren't doing anything. So yeah, there's that. We have enough there to get us through a really tough time. The other thing I have uh, that I usually keep a lot is this waterproof bag here. And in there, I just keep some spare clothes. I'll have some wool socks in here. I'll have a, a pair, an extra pair of um, pants uh, and, and you know underwear. And I'll actually keep, even I think at the bottom, I'm not gonna take it out, but there's another uh, way to light fire in there, tinder. And this is a waterproof bag, so you know, you do that, seal it up, and then all your stuff stays nice and dry. So yeah, that's pretty much, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Uh, I have, you know, to put stuff together, but I kind of wanted to show you guys the studio space, and this is what it is. We're going to probably have a table here, right in the center, and then um, have the backdrop be like a bookshelf with some cool stuff on it. Uh, I have plenty of areas to do lighting. Uh, I'm really starting to dial this in in the next couple of weeks. And then this is also my workspace for the, the new company. So the t-shirts and all that stuff because I'm going to have my light board over there that where I'm going to do the artwork and all that stuff. And so this is going to be, this needs to get cleaned up and do my workspace. So I'm kind of just like going over all of my stuff. And I thought it would be cool to show you guys some survival, survivor gear. And that's pretty much what I have. Everything else is in storage, you know, all the big prep stuff like the food preps that's stored in mylar bags and the rice and the sugars and all that stuff that I that I have that I had in my other house, you know, when you know COVID hit and all that other stuff. So we were ready, we will stay ready, stay prepared, stay ahead of the game. And uh, you know, we're not crazy super duper preppers, but I like to be prepared and I like to stay ahead and I think it's just smart for anyone to do that, especially with all these crazy tornadoes. You know, a lot of you from Phil from subscribers from Philadelphia, my friends, they're getting tornadoes out there now that are pretty wild. We got some crazy hurricanes out here in Iowa. It's been pretty quiet, but uh, you know, you know, you just never know and then everything else that's going on in the world, you know, uh, it's just best to stay prepared. Better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it, right? Everybody says that. So that's pretty much it and hope you guys enjoy the video leave some suggestions in the comment below and all that stuff if you want to become a patron member that link will be below like share subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one i love you all peace